Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on how to use Pascal's triangle. The value we're trying to evaluate it, the polynomial we want to try to evaluate is over here. So let's get started. Pascal is the Pascal triangle is named after French mathematician Belaez Pascal. Uh, it's a really a neat, nifty way to figure out expansion without actually doing the hard work, shall we say. The premise is, is that you add those two numbers, and those gives you the coefficient for that specific term. And the exponents always has to add up to, specifically for us, actually add up to 5. So I have a 10 here, I have a 10 here, and I have a 5 and a 1. Now, this method is not hard, but it's very tedious. So I always tell my students, slow down, OK? I'm going to have a equal to x, b is equal to 2y. So let's get started in that, uh, write it out. So this whole thing is equal to 1 times a to the fifth. Let's just write the first one down. 5 a to the 4 b to the 1 plus 10 a to the 3 b to the square plus 10, then reversed, okay, plus 5 a to the 1 b to the 4 and plus b to the fifth. Okay, let's double check because if this step is wrong, everything else falls apart. 5, 5, I'm just adding the exponents here. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Okay, everything looks good. And then I have 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay, that looks good too. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay, from here, and then I'm going to evaluate. To protect my integrity of the work, I always tell the students, just slow down. Okay, x to the fourth. It's okay to write more than you need, but once you make a mistake, it's a lot harder to go back trying to find it at x cubed. Now, b squared here okay, is actually equal to 2y, the whole thing squared, which is 4y squared. Okay, Make sure this, this whole term squared. So I'm going to put a 4y squared over here, plus 10 a squared. That's easy. Okay, b cubed, just getting, getting complicated, b cubed is equal to 2y cubed, which is equal to 8y cubed. Okay. Now, the reason I'm writing it all out is I'm finding every single possible way to slow myself down. When you rush, you make mistakes, or at least I do. Okay. Plus 5 times a is x, b to the fourth. Oh dear, b to the fourth. That's 16y to the fourth, okay? 16y to the fourth, and then plus 2y to the fifth. I'll write it one more here, b to the fifth, that's 32y to the fifth. Okay, I happen to memorize all the powers of twos up to 10 or 11, but um, if you don't, slow down and write it out, okay, y to the fifth. Okay, before I simplify all this, let's double check x is x to the fifth, 5 and a to the fourth, that's just a to the fourth, 2y. And the next one is square, so I'm just checking the y terms now. Next one is cubed, next one is fourth, that's the fifth. That, look, that looks good. 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. Okay, so far, so far, everything looks good. So let's simplify. x to the fifth plus 10, x to the fourth, y to the 1, plus I have 40 x cubed, y squared, 4 times 10, and then I have 80, x squared, y cubed, and 16 times 5, let's make sure it's 40, 16 times 5, oh, it's 80. Oh, almost made a mistake here. So it's 80, x, y to the fourth, plus 32, y to the fifth. Okay, that's the final answer. All right. Well, I hope this has helped you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. As always, I love to hear about your math questions. Till next time, have a confident day.